The confirmation that British forces personnel will be staying in southern Iraq for another six months means they'll continue to work alongside their American counterparts. The U.S. mission, based in the port of Umm Qasar, is due to end in December 2011, at which point they'll hand over security to the Iraqis. Kaya Lark has had exclusive access to coalition personnel in Iraq. Umm Qasar. In 2003, this was the focus of the Royal Marines' first assault on Iraq's mainland. Today, it's a relatively quiet port town where the locals ignore the passing military vehicles. We're heading to a new military base being built for and by the Iraqi Marines as their new headquarters. Most of the kit the Iraqis are using here comes from the old American base Camp Booker. It's closing in the next month, a sign of the US's withdrawal here. Around 1,000 men from the 1st Battalion of the Iraqi Marines will be stationed here once the work is complete. The commander wasn't authorised to give a formal interview to us, despite more than 30 years' service in the Iraqi military. But he did tell me that under Saddam Hussein, they could not discuss orders, saying that now they have much more freedom to try and improve their own unit, and that he has seen many of his men head over to America to train alongside the US Marines in Louisiana. The Americans say the partnership is working well. We're here to give them pretty much whatever we can as far as uh, experience that we have um, working together to, to make the Iraqi Marines um, as efficient, as capable and uh, as permanent as possible here in uh, southern Iraq. Although 1st Battalion is very much being mentored by the Americans, British involvement is ever present and with some officers speaking Arabic it helps in building relationships. Well, first of all, I wouldn't say I'm fluent, I'm fairly strong, but the uh, Iraqi dialects are, are pretty difficult at times. Um, but yeah, having some kind of understanding or like previous experience of working out here is really helpful in building rapport, a bit of a relationship, trying understanding what they mean when they say certain things and uh, you know when they're just saying things to be polite or when they actually mean something or not. The Americans too say they're enjoying working alongside the British and are grateful they're staying for another six months. I think it's a special treat to work with the Royal Marines uh, and the Royal Navy here uh, for myself um, and then the younger Marines as well. Uh, this is not an opportunity that we have every day. Um, so any opportunity that we get to work with another Marine Corps or another service uh, is a big bonus. When the British leave southern Iraq in the spring, it's hoped the training stages will be all but finished. But the Americans insist they will stay until December to ensure the handover is complete. By then, these Iraqis will be expected to maintain and deliver their own security to this crucial port town. Kyle Ark, Forces News, Umm Qasar.